President Obama is giving the highest civilian honor possible to a controversial former labor leader. AFL-CIO past President John Sweeney will get the Presidential Medal of Honor, Medal of Freedom rather. So what? what's going on? Joining the company now, Vincent Fernucci. He is from the Competitive Enterprise Institute. Uh, you know, it, it, he became the head of the uh, AFL-CIO in 1995. So from 1995 to 2009, private sector union uh, participation went from 10 percent to almost 7 percent. What was the accomplishment and why is he getting the medal? Well, that's right. During his tenure, uh, private sector, actually all union membership, dropped by uh, 170,000 workers. In fact, in the manufacturing sector, we lost 5.5 million workers during 2000 to 2009 um, when uh, Mr. Sweeney was president of the AFL-CIO. But listen, for Everything I've heard, he's a uh, nice man, he's a man of conviction. Unfortunately, those convictions are much closer to Saul Alinsky and the far left fringe of America than they are with the mainstream. And what Barack Obama is doing, he's honoring a man that brought unions away from the George Meany bread and butter union issues of the past into a more political, politicized organization that we see today. So essentially what he's right. doing is he's honoring people that helped get him elected. Okay, and not only, not, not only ideologically, uh, they're on the same page there, but a lot of people are saying, listen, uh, this is clearly a payback. The unions have raised a gazillion dollars for the Democrats over uh, during uh, Sweeney's tenure. So this is nothing more than sort of a pat on the back payback. That's right, both politically and ideology. I mean, remember, this is the Medal of Freedom that he's getting. And, uh, I mean, I guess in Barack Obama's America, freedom means, you know, doing away with the secret ballot and union organizing elections. It means in 28 states, workers don't have the right to say no to a union. I mean, is that what the Medal of Freedom is all about? Is that what John Kennedy, Maya Angelou, and uh, others, other American, actual American heroes that have received this award, is that what they stand for? Well, this is definitely controversial. Something else is controversial. On the screen next to your photo, uh, next to your face, has been General Motors stock. It's starting to trade today. It's up uh, almost 8%. And what do you make of this IPO, the way it was done, how it's been handled, and, and, and what the ramifications are going to be with respect to bailouts going forward? Well, I think it sets an absolutely bad precedent. Yes, right now... Um GM is doing good with the IPO, but that doesn't mean that the bailouts work. You also have to remember, the way GM got to this bailout and got to this IPO is by the Obama administration allowing them to run roughshod over bankruptcy and contract law. Remember, the UAW was placed far ahead of the bondholders that were supposed to get the first payback. Um, and right now, the UAW is receiving stock options and quite a bit of money from General Motors in order to basically just bolster their position. Um, and this also goes back to that there's union interest and there's workers' interest. I don't know if you're familiar with the talks for the uh, General Motors Voluntary Employee Beneficiary Association, the VIVA. But this was talked before GM went into bankruptcy, where the UAW and GM got together and said, hey, we want to get our retirees, employees' health care off our books. So what we're going to do is the GM is going to pay the UAW to pretty much just forgive these liabilities. Worked great for GM because they got the liabilities off their bottom line. Worked great for the UAW because they got tens of billions of dollars to pay with. But the problem is the actuarial values for the UAW worker meant that their retirement health care accounts probably were not going to last right. much longer than a decade. All right, Vincent. Uh, yeah, you know, this, uh, again, we're talking about the highest civilian honor in this country. Uh, a lot of people are going to start talking about this. Thanks a lot for helping us out this morning. Hey, Charles, thanks for having me. All righty. Some call them Build America.